Before I read my essay, I just wanted to thank the AJGA and HP for deciding to give me this award. It means so much to me that they found this story to be as inspiring as I think it is. I'm sorry, Mr. Hogan, but I don't caddy for quitters. I'll see you on the next tee, sir. Whoever said that to Ben Hogan must have been asking for a slap in the face, right? Especially during the final round of the 1950 US Open at the East Course at Marion Golf Club in Ardmore, Pennsylvania. To say that to Hogan while he was in excruciating pain because of a near fatal car accident he had been in just 16 months prior took a large amount of confidence. Well, that crazy man who said that to Hogan was my great grandfather, Nick Sioka. Hogan was leading the US Open at that point by two shots, but decided that he did not want to continue playing because the pain was unbearable. After he completed the 13th hole, he told my great grandfather to leave his clubs by the clubhouse, and he would meet him there to pay him for caddying. However, my great grandfather was not going to stand for that kind of attitude. He knew that Hogan had a chance to win the golf tournament, and it would be a shame to see him walk away. I don't know why Hogan decided to listen to my great grandfather. Who was he anyway? Just a local scratch golfer who was caddying to make a few extra dollars. All I know is that one of Hogan's greatest decisions was following my great grandfather to the 14th tee. As the story goes, Hogan ended up tying for the lead with Lloyd Mangrum and George Fazio by the time he arrived on the 18th green because of his bogeys on 15 and 17. This, however, led him to hit one of the most famous shots in golf history from the 18th fairway, a perfect one iron to 40 feet on the 18th green. That shot produced one of the most famous photographs in the history of golf, which shows Hogan's finished position and the large crowd admiring him. Hogan then went on to two putt for par and win the 18-hole playoff the following day by four shots. Now, as I am standing over the plaque in the middle of the 18th fairway at Marion East that reads, June 11, 1950, US Open, fourth round, Ben Hogan, one iron, I look at my slightly faded Marion head cover that protects my five wood. It is a reminder that no matter how much I am struggling, and no matter how much I want to quit, I always have to meet my great-grandfather on the next tee. I can picture him standing next to Hogan, handing him the one iron. I keep hearing the same words in my head. I'm sorry, Mr. Hogan, but I don't caddy for quitters. I'll see you on the next tee, sir. I place my ball next to the plaque, stare the flag down, take a smooth swing, and watch my ball soar through the air and land just inches from the hole. Thank you.